Hi, everybody, and thanks for joining us in this first-round matchup of the National Invitation Tournament. Let's see how this matchup unfolds between the Ohio State Buckeyes and the Virginia Tech Hokies. Number 13 is, has a wonderful job in using his upperclassman leadership to inspire his team on the floor. Yeah, Brad, a senior leader is the guy who the team can't count on for support. This kid is no exception. The Hokies will undoubtedly feed off his play in this contest. The Hokies are facing very tough opposition tonight, Dick. What's the key to them winning? The keys tonight are very simple. First of all, hey, disrupt the rhythm of their outside shooters. Don't let them just catch the ball and shoot. Get right up on them. Second of all, hand the ball down low for some easy baskets. It'll be a bonus if you can get their big man in foul trouble. Lastly, don't let turnovers decide the game. Protect the ball. Take care of the basketball. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. Trying to draw the foul. Number 14 with a finger roll. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Number 23 fakes the shot. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Lost some ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. From the top of the circle, he nails it from downtown. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. They work the perimeter. Fakes the shot. There's a bad pass right to the defender. On the dribble, gives it up. Oh, he's got hops like you, man. He got hops like you. Yeah, it is pretty similar. Wow. I didn't realize my partner was a high riser. The center receives the ball. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. For the bucket. I'll tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. There's the trap. Steal. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Trying to go inside. And he tries to spin away from the defender. I tell you, he's versatile in the post. He's got a spin move and a number of other activities. Trying to feed inside. The skip pass is picked off. Leans in. Perfectly executed. The defender's doing a great job of playing ball pressure. It'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. He's obviously carrying his team, Brad. His teammates need to follow his lead and join in on the action. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. He looks for three. Buried it. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. Number 31 receives the pass. 
Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Tries to get the D to bite. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Now they work it around the perimeter. Number 13 is animated and ready to go. He may be in the zone right now, Brad. High post flashes for the opportunity. Gave it up. We'll take the shot. Got it. Dumps it in. Goes up for two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside him. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. Here's a double team. From right in the circle. Nice job of dribbling off the screen. But the shot just didn't fall. The Buckeyes will step to the line for the first time. Makes the first shot. Makes those free throws count. Let's go back on that campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. They've left him completely alone. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. The center handles the pass. Double team now, bad angle. He throws it up from downtown. Way off target. Stolen. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. There's the pick. From left of the circle. The Buckeyes have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Both teams looking to get things going here. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. Number 23 is charged with the foul. First team foul. The Hokies go to the line for the first time in this game. Good. Second shot is good. He hits it. Number 13 with the foul. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Tries for two. Doesn't go. On the dribble, gives it up. Rejects it. He gets it up the floor with a quick push. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball or let him try to beat us. Ohio State are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Pass down low. There's a drop step, and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. They're working around the perimeter. They look to get it to the inside. The point guard handles the feed. Look at that spacing. Number 40 picks up the foul. 
Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Dick, we all know how important it is to get to the free throw line. Well, there's no doubt about it. I think it's such an unbelievable plus. It means you're playing aggressive basketball, you're playing attacking basketball, and you're creating all kinds of foul problems for the opponent. Makes the foul shot. Hits his third. Dick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. Screener gets the worst of that screen with the elbow. There's a double team waiting there. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. The Hokies have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brad, he's on fire. from three-point land. Great shot. Check him out, Brad. <laughs> Try to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. Fakes it. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Off the rim and no good. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. What do you think, Dick? I need a timeout here, Brad. And there's a lazy pass, it's stolen away. Turnover, will it turn into two the other way? Nick, he's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. First half update again, Dick Vitale, in your opinion, our focus player, what do you think he's doing so far? Well, I think he's playing well, but unfortunately his teammates are not helping. I mean, he can't win if just one guy's going to make plays. Stop and pop, way off target. But inside. Thinks about the shot. Goes up for two. This one might have been over before it started, Dick. Yeah, it's been one-sided so far. Still plenty of time left, though. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. He's pounding the ball with a duck. Where's he going? They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. He pulls the trigger. Tickles a twine. That's a 10 nothing run. Side. Gets the ball. He makes the block. He hammers it home. You can almost see that coming. They were a little bit lazy on the defensive end. Mr. Excitement with that jam. They're working around the arc. Controlling the ball. He takes the shot from the baseline. He gets it to go. We need an instant replay for this one. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. 
A high screen. Jumps in. Great play to take that to the basket. Here's a flash from the post up high. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. Kicks it out. Gave it up. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move. And he does it exceptionally well. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He uses the shot fake. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. He takes a three. It sticks. From three-point land. Off the rim and no good. Steal, go up the other way, get a layup. Post player flashing. Picks off the pass. Oh, what a great job transition. Offense. Poor job defensively. Don't get back. Don't stop the ball. And they were allowed to convert. Get the number game going. He intercepts it. Looking for a good shot. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. Number 13 to the line for two. He can't buy one. Second one is no good. They're not getting it done from the free throw line tonight, Dick. It always seems like these close games, Brad, come down to free throw shooting. Let's see how this poor display affects them. Got the high pick. Puts it up looking for contact. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> a pass. The post flashes up high if he wants it. Jumped in front to take it away. Length of the floor for two. The Hokies have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Working it around the perimeter. Trying to draw some contact. Number 21 makes the finger roll. Speed, I tell you, man, there's nothing like having athleticism and quickness. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. The kick out. He shoots from long range. Scorches the net. It. Man, he used that screen to perfection. He used it to get free, baby, for the good luck. The Hokies have a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. That spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin.
put that screen away. Puts it up. The Buckeyes have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. Batty's on fire. They're working around the perimeter. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. There's the fake. Goes up for two. And in and out. Number 21 draws the personal. Look at him now, just enjoying the moment. Hey, he's out of control, Brett. He wants everyone to get up and enjoy the moment, including the cheerleaders. to the line, shooting two. Makes it. Misses the second. They're not getting the balls to fall from the line. Hey, if I were to coach this team, I would make them run so many lines, I would pass out from watching them run, Brad. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Fakes a jumper. Now the turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Got okay. a nice screen. He gets that one to fall. Looking for a good shot. For two, goes. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. That spin move's not going to work again. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. <laughs> Sets a screen for his teammate. Takes it off him. Here they come now on a turnover. On the dribble, gives it up. Number 34 in the paint. Up fake. Jump hook from the low block. Doesn't go. Moving it around the perimeter. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. They work it around the perimeter. He puts up the three ball, and he misses the shot. Ohio State are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they're putting it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. With the jump hook, can't get the shot to go. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. On the outside, he goes for three, goes in. Two for one opportunity. Going to move it around the perimeter. Looking for contact. And he scores despite the hat. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way.
kick it back outside. He lets it go. Nice job of using the screen to get open for that good shot. From half court, and it's no good from three-point range. At the half, the Buckeyes are ahead by 13. If you missed the play of the half, here's another look. Number 40 has played a lackluster half. What do they need to get back in this thing, you think, Dick? It only starts with great defense. If they can't stop the opposing team from scoring, even if they shoot the lights out in the second half, they're still too far behind to even the score. Start of the second half, Dick, our focus player update. What's he got to get done in the second half for them to win? Well, I think he's got to attack the basket a lot more. I think he's got to get opportunities to go to the free throw line, and that'll come if he becomes aggressive. Easy one. They move it into the front court. He tries the three. Number 21 was a top recruit coming out of high school. Personally, I can't wait to see how he's going to develop. He was highly recruited out of high school. Hopefully, he'll continue to develop and really blossom into something special. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Got a man in high post. The ball goes out of play. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. Out there, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots, good opportunities? The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. Here's a flash from the high post. In the paint. Locks the shot. He hits it. Gave it up. Entry pass in the paint. Jumps into the defender. Look at that! That's unbelievable, baby! Ball comes back out from the post. Hot there, Brad. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Up and inside! Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. I can't believe there wasn't a whistle on that one. Yeah, it should have been a whistle right there. I thought there was definitely an offensive charge. The defender is still applying great ball pressure, Black. There's the screen up on top. Number 21 has called for the foul. Second team foul. High post flashes for the ball handler. Picked off. Looking for the foul. He puts it in with contact and all. As the chance persists. I love it, Brad. Only in college basketball, baby. Only in college basketball. <laughs> Tries a three. Drains the shot. Basic. Ooh, look at the shot block. They got some contact. Nice hops. 
Well, that's good defense. A steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post player. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Dribble gives it up from three-point territory. He makes the shot. The Hokies trail by nine. They'll work it around the arc. Working it around the perimeter. Number 21 is whistled for the foul. First team foul. Got a high post flasher. Gave it up. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. What is euphoria out there? They're really excited. They're going bananas. Blocks it. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Pushing that basketball, help one another, communicate. Virginia Tech have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Pump fakes. Jump hook from the low block. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. They work it around the perimeter. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Nick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover City, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. <laughs> On the dribble, gives it up. Number 21 is charged with the foul. Second personal foul. The momentum is on their side. High fives, chest bumps. We're seeing it all now. They're definitely having some fun out there. There they come with a double team to stop it. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. The land. The Hokies are behind by 11. Gave it up. Time to pick up the defense here now. Good job defensively. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. He shoots from outside. Ohio State is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. On the dribble, gives it up. Robs him with the ball. Trying to draw the foul. 
Basket falls despite the contact. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. You gotta see that one again. Gave it up. The fake. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Look at that celebration. He is pumped. He's trying to pump up the fans, too. He's saying, hey, come along for the ride. Pump them up, young man. Pump them up. Strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. The Hokies are trailing by 14. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. to draw the charge, and even he has to smile about this one. I tell you, kid, it may. That's one of the great acting jobs of all time. Get him an Oscar. That spin move not successful, Dick. I tell you, great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. They're on fire, Dick, from behind the arc. I'd like to see how long they can keep this up. He'll kick it back outside. On the dribble, gives it up for two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. For the bucket. Drops the bucket despite the harm. The NIT season tip-off started in 1985. It may be the premier preseason tournament. There's some great ones, Mr. Vitale, but I like this tournament because it gives the teams a taste of what tournament play is really all about. Well, it's great practice and preparation for March, Brad. It's not uncommon to see an NIT Final Four team reach the Sweet 16, Elite Eight, or even Final Four. I agree with you, Brad. It's great preparation. Beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. Gave it up for three. He gets it to fall. Hey, don't let these guys get in too much of a rhythm. Can they regroup in time, you think? Let's see what happens. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. We'll get another look at it. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Tries for two. They still he blocks the shot. He got off the nice shot off the dribble by running the defender into that solid screen. For two, and in and out. Leans in. Look at that drive. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Marishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> Turnover City and I'll always really negate any offense.
Let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Brad and Dick, there is a sense of concern on the bench right now. The coaching staff fears if the other players don't get involved soon, it may be too late. He keeps stressing to his team, I can't do this by myself, so help me out. We'll have to continue to monitor this one, guys, along the way. Thanks, Aaron. Nice high post screen. For the bucket and off the mark. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play out there and you front it. Picked out of the air. Goes up for two. And he missed. Now the high screen. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to go. On the outside. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. That's a high post screen. Goes for the lane. On the outside. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. I'm not sure that's who you want shooting the three. Hey, a few more of those, he may wind up on a bench. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Stolen ball. Fast break opportunity here. From right of the circle. Off the rim and no good. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. On the dribble, gives it up. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Artez just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Look at this effort! Trying to draw contact. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. In the paint. Jumps in. Perfectly executed. There's the pick. There's the roll. The turn of fadeaway jumper. Can't get the shot to drop. Working it around the perimeter. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Stolen away. These teams, Dick, remind me of Loyal Marimont back in the 90s. The shot drops and the foul. Great concentration on the shot, Brad. What a play. These kids are fired up now. And if you're going to celebrate, why not celebrate with a teammate? Hey, Brad, the kids are fired up and having a lot of fun. Number 14 to the line for one. Sinks it. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vital. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. Intercepted. For two, they are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. They're going to need a miracle to get a victory in this one now. Yeah, I think this is over. It's time to get the guys in who don't play that much. Strips the ball. 
Here they go into the break. And the slam. On the inside. Very soft defensively, no pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Up and inside. Gave it up. Picks off the lazy pass. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays it where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. In the paint. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. They'll work it around the arc. And now they'll bring it up. He was looking for the call, and he got it on himself. Offensive foul. Definitely an offensive foul, no doubt about it. He beats him to the spot. <laughs> on the dribble, gives it up. Puts it up, looking for contact. That's why we have instant replay cameras. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position, and then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when you make that turn. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Looking for a good shot. He shoots from downtown. Way off target. I get a feeling they've changed things up a little bit, Dick. We'll see what they come up with, Brad. And all the way on the baseline, now the kick out. Virginia Tech have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Looking for a screen on top and got it. And he can't hit the shot. He shoots from the top of the circle. Off the rim and no good. He nails the shot. Goes for the steal down low, and he didn't get it. I tell you, he took a chance, and he lost, baby. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. And again, let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. Foul, and that stops the clock again. Brad, I think they'll continue to do so in an attempt to get back in the ball game. They should look to foul the opponent's weakest free throw shooter. And yet another foul. Nobody likes this part of the game when the losing team is fouling in order to stop the clock. I think it's obvious to me that they are starting to heat things up right now. I'll tell you one thing, they're getting good shots and they're making them count. They're in a groove, baby. And when they're in a groove, that court looks like an unbelievable Atlantic Ocean instead of a teapot. to go in another direction with things right here, Dick. It wouldn't kill them to get a little diversity in their play right now. 
Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'll tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. For the deuce. You need to create as many possessions as possible, so keep falling. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. Number 14 to the line for the one and one Makes the front end of the one and one Hits the second. They're shooting extremely well from the stripe tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. Moving it around the perimeter. He launches the bomb. He nails the bucket. Shot clock is dead. As we take a look here at our backcourt production. Hey, Brad, I'll tell you one thing. Productivity from the backcourt is a must. You must initiate the offense, distribute the ball, and score. These are all things that you rely on your backcourt to do. Buries it. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. Got it. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. He goes for the trifecta. Poor decision. He has no business taking that shot. I don't think the coach wants him taking that shot. Gave it up. The power forward handles the pass. On the dribble, gives it up. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. See a little different look this time, Dick. You never know what's coming, Brad. He shoots from long range. He gets it to go. The center takes the feed. Virginia Tech couldn't get enough going before the final buzzer. I don't think anyone expected him to pull out a win tonight. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners, Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.